Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying Smoky Mountain Taffy Logs Pure Wholesome Candy. Uh, these were sent to us from Pam and Steve. They went to Gatlinburg, and that's where these are made, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And the blast from our childhood. Yes, they, if you saw us when we opened the box from Pam and Steve, we were just thrilled to death to get this box because I have not had this since I was probably 14 years old yeah because even when we, we went there for vacation once and i don't think we bought any that time yeah no uh so it, it it's it's really cool though we said this during the box opening i'll say it again if you've never been to the gatlinburg pigeon forge area of tennessee there's so much to do that's where dollywood is too. uh but they have a uh a candy shop where you can actually watch them on this huge machine um, pull the taffy and then they uh, they lay it out on this table and they do all but you can watch all that and it's really really cool kind of like when you go to Disney and you can watch them making stuff through the mm -hmm. window same thing here uh, so it's all o-l-e all smoky candy kitchen.com now it won't do you any good to go there because nothing on at least of me as of the time i'm filming this nothing on their website works so they have a section where uh you're supposed to be able to click on it and see like different fudges different candies you're supposed to be able to see every flavor in this box it tells you uh, all the flavors none of it worked for me it would not work so i went to their uh facebook page and of course the facebook page has these links that redirect you back to the website which nothing works so i sent them a message on facebook and said hey uh nothing works on your none of your links work and is there any way i could get the flavors of these candies never heard back from them as of this video i have not heard back from them so don't expect much from their website. They're, yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not wor worried about that part of it. They're worried. They're putting their love into the taffy. So, uh, there are no uh, calories on here. I wouldn't expect there to be, uh, but there are a ton of flavors. Yeah, now you got to sort out colors. Yes. So, uh, these, a lot of these, though, you can clearly tell they're the same thing. So, like, we have a lot of yellow with brown lines through them. Yeah, we're thinking our, there could be purple lines, too. Um, no, well, it might, brown. they're either brown or purple, yeah. one of those other. So, all of these are the exact same one. And so, we don't know if those are going to be, like, banana. And then these are uh, Purely green. green. <laughs> and then we have blue with white and blue with uh, pink. Those, so those are two different ones. Put it over there. Then we have, these are both the same, a white with a green. And then we have white. This is solid white. This is... This is white with green. It's the same as this, right? Uh, yes, this is white with green and brown. Did that one have green and brown? Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Green and brown. These both look solid white, so we'll see how they, uh, what they shape out to be. Those two look different. Those are darker. No, maybe not. I think no, they're no, both no, they're white. Okay, this is the only white with the pink line. Okay, now we have... <laughs> Um, fun, fun with sorting. Yeah. Sorting with Tammy. Pink with white and pink with green. So this is a pink with pink with pink. <laughs> pink with white. Pink with pink. This is more like pink with white. Or that's an orangey one. Pink with pink. Okay. So they clearly didn't get 30 flavors. No, it said on the website there's supposed to be like 30 flavors or something like that. These look brown. They probably just make 30 flavors with a random, like, throw them in the box. That's, yeah, that's what I'm guessing. <coughs> um, I, in these, I am not, I think these are all the same. These. No, these are, oh, yeah. No, these and then these. Okay. okay. So. Well, you want to get the 100% ones, we know the yellow. Yes, the yellow, and then as we do them, we probably should put them back in the box. That way they're not sitting out. So when Kevin did the box opening, we, we peeked. We showed you what they look like. And Kevin was thinking these might be banana. Who knows? It is a very yellow uh, color, though. 
we have to cut them just because you know we don't want to be sitting here for 10 years chewing them. No. And that might be too big. It might. Wow. Much stickier than I remember. Banana. Oh yeah, 100% banana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In a perfect world, when you're not doing a video, um, what's this one? Just blow, blue and white. You can let this sit on your tongue and warm up a bit. Mm -hmm. and it softens up a lot. Yeah. So when you first put it in your mouth, it's very, very sticky. Mm -hmm. Very it's sticky. Hard. But to be fair, it does not get stuck in your teeth. It mm. really I got doesn't. All stuck in my teeth. You did? Oh, I didn't get it stuck in my teeth at all. Oh, mine. It's all in my teeth. No, I have none. Well, then I guess it, okay. You might get it stuck in your teeth, but I didn't. Usually I do, but that I didn't. Uh, but it does, the heat of your mouth does soften it up. I cut a little smaller piece. This is blue with a white stripe. That tastes like bubble gum to me. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say bubble gum, but you wouldn't think blue would be bubble gum. You would think it'd be pink would be bubble gum. Yeah, but that tastes like it does taste gum. like gum. So I'm wondering that was blue with a white stripe. This is blue with a pink stripe. It is in my teeth, by the way. Yeah, you just got lucky on that first one. I was gonna say, I did. how did you not get with that on the your banana? Teeth? I did. Do you want? You eat a bunch of this, your mouth gonna be sore. Mm hmm. I have no earthly idea what that was. It was a flavor. I don't know what the flavor was. It seems like I remember when, when we went as a kid, they had a little chart that had the pictures of them. They might. They but even the, chart, even the chart was never 100% accurate. And somebody watching this might know. It is a very light, to me it tastes like a berry flavor. I have no clue. But I couldn't tell you which berry. Now this is just solid brown. I cook chocolate. Mm. Tootsie Roll. See if that's a different color. I think it's lighter. Oh. Tootsie Roll chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's just chocolate. Mm hmm. And. Actually, I think I like Tootsie Rolls a little bit better, but. Do you? Yeah. Um, you always hated Tootsie Rolls. I don't hate them. You I just, just prefer... don't prefer them. Yeah. They're, I'm never going to pick a bag of Tootsie Rolls. This is a different color. That's what I thought. That looks like the, um, what's that honey candy? The girl's name. Is it a girl's name? It has a girl on the package. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it tastes like. A Mary Jane. It is a girl's name. That's what that tastes like. Mm -hmm. Kind of molasses-y honey. It tastes like molasses. Yeah. yeah. I like that though. See if that's different. That might not be different. It looks like it's a lighter color, but it might be the Mary Jane again. Yeah, I like. I always like that flavor anyway, but boy, they're tough. You talk about tough to chew. Is that white? It's a little lighter. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Okay. This looks more like a So, so far, off-white. I didn't do half bad at sorting these. Unless you put something back in the box that we, we didn't try. I don't think so. <laughs> I <laughs> really don't. Mmm, really that's just vanilla. Mm -hmm. Love that. Here's that melted vanilla ice cream. Mm hmm That's my favorite one so far, probably. Well, I like that banana, though, too. Yeah, I like that honey um maple or the honey um mary jane yeah the molasses molasses that's, um, the, that's the word i was thinking of the um the banana of course is fake banana oh, it yeah. doesn't taste like real banana so you know but i mean you're buying a box of taffy what do you expect this is just orange and this was the only orange one i saw in there just like that blue one the only, actually there's one blue period Mm-hmm. Mm. At first I thought, wait a minute, is that orange? Yep, it's orange. Yeah, this is a pink with like a little white, white stripe on it. 
They're very light. Yeah, see this one with the white, I think is 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 a hot pink. Yeah, it's brighter. It's brighter. That that I would think would be bubble gum or something. No, usually pink and blue or something is bubble gum in it. Mm-hmm. Do the one of these nuts. Ooh. That is a mint, like a, what is that? Clove. Clove, that's it. That tastes just like if you've ever had the old fashioned clove gum. Mm. That's clove. Mm hmm. I was thinking there's a hard candy that's clove. I, there probably is. That's more of a purple color now that I'm looking at it. I love clove gum. I used to buy it all the time. Very or, strong. Of course, they don't, I don't, as far as I know, they don't make it like sugar free. But clove gum, yeah, it is a strong, a strong flavor. It, um, and that was strong. Yeah, it, it, that was wonderful, I think. That's the most purplish looking when you look at it next yeah. to this. Yeah, this looks like a uh, Barbie. Strawberry? Mm-hmm. Mm, strawberry. I think it is strawberry. It's hard to tell after eating a clove. Mm-hmm. That clove was so strong. I don't think when Pam and Steve sent this box, they expected us to review them. But it's like, we haven't bought this in years. And I wasn't going to miss the opportunity. <coughs> this is the one with the green in it. Mm, that's so good. Mm, it's a candy cane. It's like a win it's winter green. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Yeah, like the little white mints that mm -hmm. the life You're right, it's not candy cane at all. Yeah, when you buy the uh, Lifesavers the, in the green package, they're white mints, they're round in the green package. And I'll tell you how I know that so well, is because when we went to the UK several times, I would buy a whole bag of those and just eat them like candy on the bus and on the plane and because they're wonderful. I love, love, love that you flavor. Like, you didn't like the candy they are. And they're soft. They're not hard, those Lifesaver ones. They're not hard, so you can just chew them really easily. So this is a pink with a red. Mm, yeah, a little bit of white in it too, but I think that was just... Hmm. Is it cherry? I think it's a little like cherry, mm -hmm. but it's almost like a medicine-y cough drop mm -hmm. cherry. Super artificial. I mean, none of these taste like the real thing, mm -hmm. of course, but... It doesn't taste like, uh, necessarily like... It does taste like candy, but it is more like a cough syrup cherry. Let me tell you something that they had on the website, and I was really hoping... I, I was hoping... I got excited when I went there, because it's like, oh, I can see their fudge and all these other candies. Nothing's on there. Anyway, nothing works. They show a picture of one of these boxes, and like right here, it has uh, something that says like moonshine on it. Mm. Like they make a version, or at least when that website was created, I, I don't think it's been taken care of forever. But at that time, they made a box of these that were moonshine themed. Mm. So this is white with like red. Pinkish, purplish kind of. Yeah, it's kind of red, mm -hmm. pink, pink. We have three more. I mean, normally you wouldn't eat sit there and candy like this. Mm -mm. No. Nobody would eat all these but us, but... I remember my mom and dad and me sitting down and watching TV and just having a box and just grabbing them and eating them. Yeah. Like, this is something that, that I cannot be trusted with because it is... Um, you just do want to keep eating it um, because you want to keep trying all the different colors just like what we're doing. What did you think that last one tasted like? No, no. It was so light. The flavor was so very light. Still kind of mint, but I mean... Yeah, it, I don't know. it did taste kind of minty, but I, I couldn't give you like... The wintergreen was definitely winter. You like that one. This is a white with green, just green stripes. It's. I think it's spirit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely spear mount. Yeah. Um, this is the kind of mint that mints are supposed to freshen your breath. And for me, they keep you, like if you have a little niggling cough in your throat, they'll keep you from coughing. Spear mint 
has the opposite effect on me. It Which will actually like make me cough. Um, well, especially when you're getting those mints. Those mints are so the strong. The icebreakers, the icebreakers so mints are so strong. The spearmint are so strong that they have like these little crystals in them and those almost get stuck in your throat. And I'm telling you, they will have the opposite effect. Um, so this is a white with brown and green. That's also a mint that I don't know. It's not spearmint. It's not peppermint. You know one flavor we didn't get was like candy cane, peppermint. That really reminds me of the winter green. I know. It reminds me of the winter green. But it's not quite as strong. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like another form of winter green, but yeah, it's just not as strong. But I like it. Mm -hmm. It's sweeter. Mm-hmm. I like it quite a bit. I don't know what it was supposed to be then. And this one is just green. green. <laughs> just green. Maybe it's lime. I doubt it. Or apple. Could be apple. No, it's lime. Oh, yeah. Lime. lime jello. Well, you see how many we ate. And you see how many are still in here. Mm -hmm. So, I have no idea how much... It would be awesome if we knew, like, you don't keep track when you're little. You don't know how much your parents pay for things. Oh, no. But wouldn't it be cool to know how much these cost in the 80s and how much they cost now? I think that would be really cool because the box has not changed. The, the design, design. Yeah, exactly nothing, right. the amount that you get, nothing about this has changed which I think is awesome. I think um, in a time where so many candy companies are trying to think of cheaper ways to do things and they'll replace in, uh, these ingredients for this cheaper ingredient or let's change this uh, unhealthy version to this healthy version or let's change out the oils or whatever. This is a company that has remained the same. So I tease about them not, you know, being, maybe they're not tech savvy people, but I'm very impressed that they've left things alone and that they're using the same uh, ingredients. They're, they're doing it the same way they were doing years and years ago when we were there. Yeah, so, and the flavors in these are really strong. So. Yeah, that's impressive. It really is impressive. Uh, because these days, you know, everybody's trying to do things on the cheap. Uh, so this is this is something that if you were to go to Gatlinburg, highly recommend, even if you don't buy a box, go in because they have a candy store and they have all kinds of things to offer. Uh, but thank you to Pam and Steve for bringing back f very fond memories uh, because we were going, uh, my, with my, me with my parents, we were going like every single summer for probably five or six years in a row and we have really good memories. We went camping there a lot. Yeah, so, and we never, never. <laughs> We were in a camper, we so it's not the, like we were in a We camp. weren't camping people, but I have all kinds. I could do like a whole video of like things we did at Gatlinburg because that's how many memories we have. Uh, but thank you very much for sending uh, these to us. I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.